I've been in the barber profession for 25 years. Tonight I get a chance to show people what it is barbers do. Barbering is an art. And so I want to show you the art of how we get down. All right, is everybody OK with that? What I see when I look in the mirror is a person who makes other people feel complete. Sometimes the only thing that's going to pick them up is a nice haircut, a shave, and a good pep talk. How do you want to get your hair cut today? I'm really honored to be here with you, man. I'm going to let you do what you got to do with, All right. with this canvas. What do you do, my good brother? I run a tech company. So you're, you're a creator. And trying to build community. Talk to me, man. Give me some. It's interesting. I was born missing both of my legs with a, a congenital birth defect. Ah. And from day one, you know, my, the doctor said I would never walk. And here I am. I'm a track and field athlete. Man, let's give it up for my brother right now. I like to make my clients my friends. Not only am I their therapist, but they're my therapist, too. We're always talking about how's your day, how's life, how's marriage. I do my best to make sure that my clients feel as though that I'm not just their barber, but I'm also their friend. Yeah, I mean, some days I look at myself and I feel disappointed. Talk to me about that. What does that mean? Entrepreneurship is really hard, but for me, it's been the most rewarding experience of my life. So when I look in the mirror, I see the man that I want to be. On the good days, a lot of love. Other days, not sure who that person is staring back at me. My family came from Nicaragua in the middle of a war, and they lost everything, man. They lost their homes, they lost their, their jobs. Diligence is, is excellence over time. Being able to survive and, and thrive when everything's against you, from your own country to, to the country you come into. And once you start thinking like that, you're not thinking about today. You're thinking about what legacy you're gonna leave behind over these next 30 years or 40 years. When I think about legacy and when people think about my name, they say, wow, he never gave up. I'm trying to be the first amputee American to ever qualify for the able-bodied Olympic Games. And like last year, I was the sixth fastest man in the world, legs or no legs. After I broke my world records, they said that I have an unfair advantage because of my prosthetic legs. My whole life, I try to prove the world that I'm not disabled. That's just gonna be a true testament to any human being to, to get up, to get fighting, and to get moving. I appreciate you. I appreciate you, though. How I look, how I look, y'all, how I look, how I look. Each person is a canvas. And with each canvas, you're giving them something different, and it's a live, moving piece of art. It has to be detailed, it has to be precise, and you have to connect. I feel great to be able to show people that.